Haha. I'm losing my mind. Oh. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, shut the fuck up. Um, can I have this on my window capture, please? Hello. Thank you. Subtitles. It's just going to be on low quality because... <coughs> Ow. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, if I changed it. Ew. No motion blur. Blech. Wait, that looks so good. That changed it so hard. Do you think I could, like, do you think Ultra is too harsh? Ooh! chair tried to kill me again okay right, fingers fingers crossed fingers toes Whatever, whatever you have. Takes account of all your actions, including the ones you decide not to take. These choices will determine your fate. Your fate and the fates of others around you proceed with caution. I know nothing about this game. And I did that on purpose. Let's keep moving. What was that turn I did? I cannot be serious right now. It's on your right. Here. That's the, that's the left. Oh, wait. But that's the left. I guess that's fine. Did you see it? Oh my Goodbye. god. She's all yours, sir. Sophie Roy, I'm Detective Maurice Tremblay. Let's see. Twenty one years old, working at the Clarington for over a year. Husband? I'm sorry? Are you married? No, not yet. I live with my mother. She's sick, so I have to take care of her. No father? No. It's always just been me and my mom. All right, Miss Roy. I need you to tell me everything that happened, starting with this morning. 
Oh man, I can't remember what I had for breakfast. without its pillow. Oh, oh, I was like, where the fuck is the pillow? get yourself involved in eight thousand dollars oh god damn way that came out no 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 my family we had a seat at our bar since the day we opened in 49 you're more than a friend to us you're practically family and while friends are polite to each other family deserves more Family deserves honesty. As such, I want to be as direct as possible in letting you know that you're down to your last chance. The $8,380 you owe us plus 25% interest is now eight months overdue. Holy shit. My patience is worn thin. This isn't one of our one of your unpaid bar tabs. You came to us for help. And help always comes at a price. We've opened our pockets to you time and time again, and all you've done is take advantage of our goodwill and generosity. What's up, Nolan? Music is my favorite. <laughs> we'll come over in person and make our collection tomorrow. I'll be bringing along the boys so we can all sit down and have a little chat. But just so you know, they aren't good with words. Are you in town for a business trip, baby? Regretful as we are to have to resort to these lines of communication, our client and your neighbor, the owner of 88 32nd Street. Do I have to remember things in this game? has been ultimately evasive as our many attempts to reach out and collect our due debt, specifically an amount owed to us in the sum of $1,904, oh god, 75 cents, has, he has given us little recourse but to contact him through those in close physical proximity to him in the hopes that they can deliver a message on our behalf. We will... Uh, we have little desire to disturb you and the other fine citizens of 32nd Street, but our business may bring us back to your neighborhood if it is not resolved quickly. The help of your kind community would be greatly appreciated for us and certainly for your neighbor. I know good at remembering things. Hmm. Ooh, what's this? I can't read this. Um. Oh, thank you. Date of acknowledgement. 
Um, amount overdue, 3,500, Jesus. Uh, da, da, da. the borrower was to be obligated to pay interest at the rate of 150% per annum. Oh my god, the total sum of said paid interest to be paid together with the capital sum of the granted loan. This is a lot. Refer to section C for the expected rates of all overdue payments. Let's make a look at things. Can I put this away? No. Oh, we just put that right in our bum. check all of the things. Why does she sound like she's wearing rubber? Oops. You brought your own mug? Well, I guess ours aren't quite as complimentary. Why is there a sheet? Oh my god. I think I feel like I am cleaning up like a crime scene. Can I clean up here? This is kinda icky. And voila. Good as new. Like, for real. And I think this is definitely in a hotel, so like... What's the... Yeah. Please clean this around. I'm guessing you've seen better days, but you're obviously still important to someone. Adorable. This. It's, oh, the holy bibble. I don't know if I can. I can try to miss anything in there. cleaned everything in there.
I can think of someone who'll feel right at home. Look at her, always glued to that gossip magazine. Do you think she has any real friends? Or is it just Gracie, Joan, and Marilyn? Well, when your own wife is that dull, you need to get your excitement somewhere. <laughs> He's so mean. <laughs> oh, did you see Rebecca come in this morning? She was wearing the same clothes. Now, don't you think it will overreact me? This is exactly the kind of behavior Linda warned me about. She's doing everything she can to break us apart. Sophie speaking. Hey, it's Beth. Do you think you could come up real quick? Um, sure. I'll be right there. You're right, you didn't. No, really. The scandal. I was so in love with you that I didn't think what? Dr. Key. Let's see what Beth wanted to talk about. Can I interact with that? This leak really needs to be fixed. I hope <laughs> the weather doesn't make it worse. The weather most certainly will make it worse. Save your marriage with Lysol. Not the light bulb ad. Is nobody gonna? I should talk to Beth at the front desk. Was nobody gonna tell me to clean that up? The fuck? Hey, Beth. Hey there. So, who's sleeping? Sleep what? You were whispering just now on the phone. So I thought maybe Eugene or Bobby were napping in the break room again. Oh, yeah, no. It's Jacques and Wendy. They were, um, in the middle of something. Ugh, it's so awkward when they start making out like no one's watching. Get a room. We literally work in a hotel. You said you needed me? Oh, straight to business then. Sorry, All right. it's just a busy day. The shade in this game and it just started. For me this morning too. Want to guess why I summoned you here? Uh I'm guessing there's something I have to clean? Obviously. But what is it? Uh the uh, stuff by the door? Did a kid throw up again? God, no. Did that happen recently? Yeah, last week. I can still smell it feel it too while i was cleaning some of it got... uh, i'm gonna stop you right there keep talking and you'll be cleaning up after me too oh sorry yeah no you'll be glad to know it's nothing gross this time a nice gentleman decided Excuse it was me. time to redesign the lobby and helped us by knocking over that vase on his way out of the hotel. One thing's for sure, That's when it. you come to a spin extreme, myself, you 100% the last time I tried will to get the front all desk. of the burps. Bernard emerged from his lair to scold me about procedures and whatnot. Well, we can't have the beauty of the Clarington Hotel take absence from her throne, can we? Oh, the people would riot. Bernard especially. <laughs> Bernard's hardly the people. Anyway, I have to get back to work. There's a mop in the supply closet next to Bernard's office, I think. Thanks. I'll see you around. I couldn't work here. I'd be so caught up in the tea. Noted. Never tell Beth anything. Whole game. Right. I can't run. Linda, oh. Wendy's great at her job. Guests absolutely love her and... <laughs> not just guests, apparently. Oh, God damn it, Linda! Oh, I don't I'm not like listening. Guests like her. Making sure guests are happy is my job, after all. You don't seem to care whether I'm happy. <sighs> Listen, if Wendy wasn't doing her job, that'd be another story, but I can't just fire her without good reason. What if she stirred up trouble among the staff? Would that be a good reason? Curiosity killed the cat. Oh, Andrew, hi. I, I was, I mean, I'm sorry, I was just... Spying on our manager? No, I, I heard something and I... Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, I'm just pulling your leg. I'm, Isn't the place to work if you I'm have... Just... 
I, I'm not All used kinds to having of people around me while I work. up shit. Yeah, you're always working alone up there, aren't you? I actually think it's the first time I've seen you down in the lobby. Don't tell me you've been sent to clean up after the Valentine's Day ball. I heard the girls talking downstairs. Apparently, guests went wild. More like unhinged. Mrs. Wilson almost broke a chandelier, and we kept finding chewed up olives in the weirdest of places. Yeah. I hope the rooms won't reflect that. I hope that too, for your sake. You must see plenty of weird stuff while you're cleaning. Yeah. What's the weirdest thing you found in a guest's room? A few months ago, I found stacks of pennies in a room's toilet. Like, a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> what? And when I got to the bed, the pillowcases were filled with pennies as well. I'm still not sure if that guest simply had a strange way of leaving a tip. Maybe it was a penny robbery. Oh, I, uh, I better go help Beth. It's hell here with the snowstorm. It's okay. I need to, um... Yeah. yeah, all right. Take care. You too. As if it wasn't enough, I need to deal with, with endless letters of advice from Raymond. Raymond. I missed a whole section of this conversation. Make sure the hotel stays accessible to everyone. I can hardly believe you saw some of the things. I need the broom, right? That's a, that's a mop. That's a, okay. The last thing I want is to look like a man. It's not bedding with the other party. I really want to sit here and listen to their conversation. I'll have a word with our kitchen staff to make sure it doesn't happen again. Ew. I better throw that away. I better make sure the floor is spotless. Someone could slip and hurt themselves. A film roll. Ooh. The guest must have dropped it when he knocked over the vase. Probably should return it to him. But who? Didn't I get a mop for this purpose? Hmm. There's still some junk lying around. Uh, oh. Now I just put the leaves back in the vase and it'll be like nothing ever happened. Big brain. I understand, Mr. Ramsey. Oh my god. I gosh. wish I could make the snowstorm disappear. I really do. But sadly, that's not within my power. Beth, who knocked over that vase? Mr. Spade. Mr. Spade? Well, I can check with the airport and let you know when flights resume. Until then... Yes, yes, I know. You've the said that already. Grail. But... No, that's very unlikely. Well, you're welcome to speak to my manager if you'd like. On the roll of film on the ground, I'm guessing whoever knocked over the... Okay, uh... Is well, this for just that, you have to talk to my manager's manager? Would you like to contact him? Pocket hotel. Mm, sadly, he doesn't normally, have but phone. he's a bit of an old fashioned. There have been too many incidents for me to roll the possibility completely. Just yes. this morning, I waited in the elevator yes, on the fifth floor when I heard a loud bang. Oh. So first, I suggest finding a Nikkei. nice little corner where you can kneel down. All right? Okay. Then you clasp your hands together and think really. So, hard about just how much which room are you? She's a bitch. I love her. Speed. To repeat his name too. Hey. It's um God G O D. 
I'm sure he'll be very sympathetic to your plight. Making fun of you, sir? <laughs> no, I never dare. No, I I'm dead serious. If anyone can make the snowstorm end, it's him. He hello? Sir? Oh well. What's up, brother? Mm -hmm. Ben, how are you? Mr. Spade, I don't... Am I blind? Honestly, probably. First, price, page. No, that's not it. Room 505. Oh. Great. I That's figured it out. I can return that film roll without going out of my way. I should go to the fifth floor to return Mr. Spade's film roll. Can I, can I clean this? It's gonna drive me... Oh, what the fuck? Who did this? Squeaky fucking clean. Whee. Hold it, please. Oh, Andrew. <sighs> Phew, made it. Thanks. You're welcome. Was it you who cleaned the puddle by the restrooms? Hell yeah, Was I, I did. Not supposed to? Well, Eugene asked us not to touch anything until he's repaired the leak, but it's probably safer this way. Someone could have slipped on it. Which floor? Oh, uh... What's up? Thanks. What's the big rush? I need to bring this to our VIP guest. The one who rented the entire floor. Oh, is it that British man I keep hearing about? Why does he need a bucket full of snow? Right. No idea. It's gonna I make snow ice anymore. cream? It's just the latest in a long series of strange requests. What do you reckon he'll do with it? Take a bath, maybe? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if he's just pulling an elaborate prank on me. Bro. Can't you tell me who he is? I've never actually met him. I always talk to his assistant. Only Bernard knows his identity. Um, not creepy or anything. I do have a suspicion, though. Oh? But I'm I'm not sure I should say it. Can't you at least give me a hint? How far up are they okay, going? Me... How slow is this elevator? Ooh, saved by the bell. Hey, come on. Don't leave me hanging. Let's just say I like to prolong the suspense. Wait. Is that the hint? Hmm. Who knows? Fair enough. Have fun up there. You too. <laughs> Get out of my face, Ron Weasley. <laughs> oh. Oh no, fatal error. My game crashed. Feels fucking bad, bro. I'm sad. That's what we get for making fun of Andrew like that. Putting it again. I think I'm gonna turn my settings down. Could have made the joke my fault game. I'll go medium settings. How about that? Okay. Let's try this again.
I should go to the fifth floor to return Mr. Spade's film roll. Oh, yay. I get to hear all of this again. He was like, get up. <laughs> Hold it, please. Jesus. <sighs> Phew. Made it. Thanks. You're welcome. Was it you who cleaned the puddle by the restrooms? Was I not supposed to? Well, Eugene asked us not to touch anything until he's repaired the leak, but it's probably safer this way. If you crash Someone again, I'm going to be sad. Which floor? Oh, uh, sixth. Thanks. Ooh. What's the big rush? I need to bring this to our VIP guest, the one who rented the entire floor. Oh, is it that British man I keep hearing about? Why does he need a bucket full of snow? No idea. I don't even ask anymore. It's just the latest in a long series of strange requests. What do you reckon he'll do with it? Take a bath, maybe? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if he's just pulling an elaborate prank on me. Can't you tell me who he is? I've never actually met him. Oh I always talk to his assistant. Only Bernard knows his identity. Um. I do have a suspicion, though. Oh? But I'm I'm not sure I should say it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Can you at least give me a hint? I love that she was like, mm. oh. Okay, let me think. Ooh. Saved by the bell. Hey, come on. Don't leave me hanging. Let's just say... I like to prolong the suspense. Wait, is that the hint? Hmm. Who knows? Damn. Fair enough. Have fun up there. You too. Did you see it? Did you see it? Don't you fucking dare. I should return Mr. Spade's film roll. Room 505 is on my list anyway. Uh, bumped in Andrew again on... In the elevator, from the sounds of it, the VIP guest on the sixth floor has him busy with all kinds of strange requests. Okay, so this tells you... Wait. Linda sounds like a bitch. Wendy... Just a jealous bitch. Jacques... Whatever. Uh, they're dashing off. <laughs> Listen, Linda. What's up, Brene? Eugene is in charge of the hotel's maintenance. Since the renovation started, though, he's his usual good mood has lost some of its spark. It's been a good day. It's been a lazy day. It was like one of those sleepy days where you just kind of don't do anything. How was your day? I will be honest. I'm not reading any of these. I'm just kind of going to let it. Hello. Just woke up from one of those where the F am I naps. Oh my god. That's why I can't take naps. Mr. Spade. We went to a jumping park with the kids from my knees. Oh, that sounds like fun. One of them just um, opened Mr. up Spade? down the street from us. Apparently ours is like absolute shite. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take Aiden. And take my son to to go to go hang out there one day because it's right where it's right where I used to hang out when I was growing up, which I thought was really cute. Until you sit down, take a break. My knees and back weren't happy. Oh my god, no. Make an Epsom salt bath. Who gave this man permission to make the bathroom into like a, a photo lab?
Where are the cops? This place is wild. Yo, this is me looking through people's shit. I'm not touching these. I'm not touching any of this. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. What can I do for you on this very fine day? Put your head down at work. Yeah, right. Beth, I need your help. Sophie? What's going on? I, I think Mr. Spade's stalking me while I work. Really? I knew it! You did? I mean, I knew there was something fishy about him. He just has creep written all over his face, you know? How did you find out? Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. By the psycho killer inside. I found them hanging over the bathtub. <laughs> he set up a kind of dark room. Pictures of you? Doing what? Um. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but sometimes I'm about to tell the hotel I clean the rooms, I get a little curious and um you know Run, bitch! Run! Our guest stuff. Sneaky. And Mr. Spade caught you in the act, I suppose? Yes. I think I think we should call the police. No. That's a terrible idea. But Sophie, that man has oh. pictures of you running your hands through people's stuff. But I didn't steal anything. I was just snooping, I swear. I know, I know, but say a client reports something missing, those pictures would put a big red target on your back. So I just leave? Do nothing? Do nothing? No. Okay. But It'd be smarter to wait until you have the whole story, or at least more than you have now, before making a move. I've been in dark rooms before. Setting one up in a space that isn't made for that takes time and effort. Wait, you're a photographer? <laughs> no. I was there to look at pictures a photographer took of me. Oh. Look, all I mean to say is there's Beth no is way saucy. he set all of this up just for a couple of pictures. There has to be more. You want me to keep digging around? Well, there are pictures of you snooping. So why stop now? Beth? Oh, loosen up a little. No one's dead. <laughs> She's Any not wrong. We should start then? Well, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I remember Mr. Spade asking for the combination to his room safe. I bet you anything there'll be more pictures in there. Maybe, but I don't have the code. Mm, give me a minute. Idiots. What? I can't find the combination list. The night staff's probably lost it again. Convenient. Anyway, we always ask that clients write down their code somewhere so they don't have to call reception a dozen times. Maybe you can have a look around the room and I call you if Mr. Creep comes back. You know, so you can get out of there in time. Okay. Yeah. I don't like this Thank idea. You. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, and Beth? Please keep this between us. Of course. Oh, she's gonna run and tell 13 other people. 